Alright, so these red things right here, that's the main story quest marker. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that thing on the map because that's annoying me. Oh look, a spoiler. Yeah, I'm telling you. Spoilers are happening now. You can you can you can leave now. Okie doke. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatien was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her my shoulder. But perhaps someone else did. Tatien shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. Okay, her roommate, I, I, I imagine. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatien. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. <laughs> Spent every gilly earned on Tatien and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I wonder if we'll come across those two guys that we fought. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember. Look at these whores, they're slats. Ha! I heard the bones fell favorably. To the veiled. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. Yeah. There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Oh, hello. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. No. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Sure, why Isn't not? that what you want? Yeah. Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. Ah. You'll find they have little love for bearers. I saw. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. It was that village that we saw there before. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Mm. 
So I could, could I teleport there? Oh, more quests! You branded here now. Your name looks stupid. You're late. What kept you? What? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. What if I said no? The insolence. Someone needs to learn to break his slaves. You're late. Late for Okay, so he, he completely disregards it. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. I hope the next seat you have is a giant sword that is vertical. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. Of the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I, I can help it. I get the feeling that his son might be a branded. Stay back. I'll deal with this. You're supposed to die. What? Father will have you whipped for this. Pharaohs aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Well, go tell him that. Go on. Oh my god. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. And how do you suppose we do that? Smack the little shit? I don't think it's just the little shit that needs to be smacked, Fenrir. It's the dad as well. This is not good. The dad told the bearers to go to the wolf, and the kid was watching the wolf. They're both in cahoots. You, Brandy, come here this instant. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet, and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. I killed it! Are the entertainment How is it trained more? better than me? We are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. Oh. What would... What could I tell him? That I am my own master? Which he won't believe. Or if I said the dame, would he start to panic? I think I might try saying the dame because he might know her. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. 
You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Mm, he well, does. How do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. Good. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Shall yeah. we buy another hound? A bigger one? A better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this Branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'll cleave it right above you. Watch me. I'm wasting my time. Yeah. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. Nope. Poor things. All victims of the nobles' games. You know? You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Oh. Never gets any easier burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Though I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... You can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. They got another one. Father! Father! Is this your doing? Of course not. That was Wolves theirs. Kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's going to tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. Yeah. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. It was fluffy. Fluffy did good. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll confirm that in a moment. But uh, right now I gotta go check something. So um, I'll be right back. Anyway, let's go see this dog that attacked the father and the son. No, no sign of the wolf. So yes, that was Fluffy. Fluffy attacked and then he ran. Good job, Fluffy. Hello, Lysa. Um, have you seen my Chloe? 
Who? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Okay, who who is Chloe? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. I think it's she a dog. She's walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday, but it's my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Yeah. Playthings. That's a lot of field to search. Wait. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. God, I hope it, it's a dog and she's not just referring to a, um, a person. Prestigious. You work these fields? I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Oh. I saw the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. It's a that branded. Girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. <sighs> it. It's totally a branded, isn't it? The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Chloe. Oh no. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? No, the dog is barking at her. Is that... Someone napping on the job? Nope. No. I don't mind the interruption. Come on, man. Even I can tell from here. That's petrified. And she has white hair. Oh, good. Great. Of course they see th these as playthings. The crystal's curse. Yeah. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. I knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had prissy hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. You're a spoiled true. little shit. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> Mission complete. You made the little girl cry. Good. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Chloe. Unbelievable. Though she's not completely to blame. If she's only a kid, she wouldn't have known. It's her parents that told her what the right was, and the right was wrong. 
If the people of Maul are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Hmm. No, Chocobo. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Oh. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks around here would sooner oh. hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. This little guy was distracting me with his noises. So cute. And this one too, because they snore. Oh, totally, man. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes. Yes, that's right. He had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, hmm. albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Ah, uh, okay, you're one of the customers. Sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. Don't worry, Grail. I was showing spoilers to my salad too. It's actually quite common. Salad is just prone to showing spoilers. You are fortunate to have fallen into the dame's good graces. But her influence wanes the further you stray from Northreach. Remember that, my wayward lamb. So... The weird thing about these games is, like, usual media... My sword looks cool? I know, right? I, uh, I won't tell you where I got it, but, um... Flame Tongue. Is what it's called. You use your imagination. Looks endgame. I wish, man. Like, uh, I know that... I, I feel like... They wouldn't let me get to this level. If, um... They... I don't think they would let me get to this level. And be endgame. I imagine if I get to, like, level 50 or 60 at most. Then that might be endgame. But, um... Yeah, I, t I still don't know. I don't think it is endgame just yet, though. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Do we know what the max level is? No. But it it's either... It's either, um... Level 99. Or 100. Or it's level 50. But...
Man, that game, the, the game just got really loud for a second. Yeah, if it's a small game like FF7 Remake, then they would probably make it 50. But I think it's 99. Bodies. Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. Oh, no. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things. I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new cone. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's gonna find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wait. Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the Dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Perhaps the comb will give us something to remember Tatian by. If it was a message, oh, there she is. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her, then? I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatian. I believe it was yours. Withered comb, an old wooden comb gifted to Tatian by Madame Isabel. Several of the teeth appear to have been recently broken. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. West complete. Um, she gave us a meteorite. Along with money. Go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. Yeah. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Hmm. <sighs> but did he mention that it was all of the legions? 
This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Oh yeah, Growl, if you're still here. Playing as the summon Ifrit feels like a mech. So when you do get to play this, it will be so much fun for you. Because he it's like moving around like a big clunky thing. Like you only have like two different kinds of attacks and a dodge, but still moving around a big hulking thing, that's exactly what Ifrit feels like. It's so satisfying. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. This this is spoilers, by the way, Growl. If you don't want to get spoiled, so there's there's your warning. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Pleasure houses. Okay. Right in Aura Flame. Where the where the courtesans look even more pretty. Yeah, you can if you want, <laughs> Fenrir. Cheer up, you two. Think of a safer place in the Empire than it. Oh my god! Brothel. <laughs> Doesn't seem very private. What are you doing? What? 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 So what? Then. Oh, he's, he's he's buying the room for privacy. Okay. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most. Which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the Harmon, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moaning, they are in a brothel. Against them, you but yes. As an outlaw, clapped in it's, hand and slung in a cell to rot. It's both awkward and funny. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our 
our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. First, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Okay, so we've made it in. So I can understand the crystal being used that way. Like it's, um... That it's sapping the energy from the world, but it it doesn't seem like enough information to actually be reliable. Why can I go out in the ocean this far? That's good. Because he does make a fair point. Drake's head. In majestic silence has Drake's head ever stood vigil over the Empire of Sambrit and its bejeweled capital. Excuse me. You have reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to re re return. Okay, okay. That's um very concerning. I want to see what's over here. I actually haven't gone over to that area. So let's give that a look before I go into a... A place... Oh, fuck, what's it called? A point from no return. Alright. So, onward. Maybe it's something further in? Or oh, raptors. I'm glad, I'm glad we got to that part and we've seen what all there is that's over here. It looks like a little area that possibly might have a, a hard monster later. Oh, and there's a little deep... Big, oh! Ooh. Man, seeing woods like these is cool. We don't have places like this in Australia. Like with dirt like this, trees like these, you don't see too much. But when I went to New Zealand, I I saw places I saw places a little bit like this. It's very beautiful and almost mystical and magical. But I'll understand if you don't see it the same way if you're from it. From a place like this. Oh. Okay, that was it. An Avis?
What's it to dodge? Ah, oh, one. Right. Chest. A griffin's head braid? While it is true that the large felines make a home in Delmecian deserts, tales of a flying lion with a mane of living flame and a rage just as hot as are fallacious. Most likely result of the chance of encounter with a long haired cat. Ill starred, ill starred enough to have been caught in a bushfire. Priest burning blades damage. I don't really use that as much, but I'm glad I have it. Uh, this would be bl burning blade. That. So that damage would be increased, but I don't really use it all that much. Oh! A secret! A secret passage. You know what I'm saying? No creepy crawlies. No, 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 no. Now? Yes. I wouldn't say safe. No, it, it's safe. I, I guarantee it. Awesome. I've completed the map. Almost. Almost completed the map. Okay, maybe not. You would not be able to return. Now that really concerns me because it doesn't say you won't be able to access the place for a while or you won't be able to return for a while. It's it won't you won't be able to return, which really which really um is concerning. Okay. But a save has been made. A bit tired, but the coffee potion is helping. How about me? Great. Doing fantastic. This game is keeping me really happy. Learning about all the stuff there in this game. There are not enough men here. The misfortune of the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. Missed. This holds well. <laughs> Why the fuck is it so green on your end? What? Hold on, that shouldn't be the case. Sorry about this. Let, let me fix that. I didn't realize the filter was doing that. But let's give this a try. And if it looks too weird later, I'll change it. First, this may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but well that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect no, plans. No, that's better. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges no, offer I'll, the opportunity I'll leave it to it's grow probably and to the change. Best. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. 
Might just be my non at all. Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. Yeah. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Come on, this way. Trying to stay out of sight. Obviously. Oh, I'm an idiot. It, it's. Don't worry, the passage is It's totally on my end. Yeah, it's my monitor that's that's making it green. I'm sorry, guys. You might have you have just been suffering that bad color. All right, all good, kid. Worried for nothing. so fast. I bet you you're gonna be up here as soon as as soon as I um climb all the way up. Yep. You just pop up. Without me seeing you. Alright, not quite empty. Let's get this over with. We should have three people. Of course it is. Perfect plans, Clive. Perfect plans. Very close to getting that uh that next thing. That Garuda ability. He never stood a chance. You're welcome. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. We can handle that, though. Hey Jojo, I am the good, how are the you? This game has been great. And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Let's see, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. I is good, just a bit busy making decals for 3D model. Very nice, very nice. How far into the game? Uh, 12, almost 13 hours in. And I'm at a pivotal month of um, a point of no return. So, I don't know if that means anything in the grand scheme of this game, but. Yeah. And it's very much like Final Fantasy crossed with. Um, Game of Thrones in story wise, but otherwise it's more like um, Devil May Cry. So it'd be very fun. Oh, this may be the moment I was talking about earlier. 
big boy. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. <laughs> you carry a cannon. I missed yesterday's game. Yeah, it's all right though, man. That just means if you if you really like this game, you won't get spoiled. But you won't know what what happens to get up to this point. You come back to see a Rogadin with a cannon. How dare you call him a Rogadin? You know that hurts me. What? What did you call him? He, he, he's a rocket tier. Oh, yes. Seen these cool new enemies. You need sleep? Then go to sleep, man. Ignition. Oh, I don't even have that. I, I, I don't have that on. I don't want it. As cool as it might be, I already have something very similar to it. A cassock? I... What is an a cassock? The ir irreversible change brought about by a living being's overexposure to Ava. Creatures are stripped of any intelligence or sense of self they may have once have had and become in suffused with life force, usually manifesting an extreme strength of aggression. Flora can also turn, resulting in their twisted overgrowth. Those with ethereal tolerance, however, such as dominance and bearers, are less likely to turn a cassock. Oh. Man. Interesting. Man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Interesting. Come on. There we go. God 
duties a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. What about Toggle then? Will the either expose to the dog? Alter the dog? I hope. I hope not. Toggle is best boy. Blended in. Blended in with the background, I didn't even notice. Drink deep of the blessing, my friends. You said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits. So, this is an ether flood. Way. The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. What if Torgal is a bearer? What if Torgal is a... What if he's a... I've already forgotten the name of it. A, a cons... Whatever the heck all three of us are. The ones that hold icons. Yes! Give me all the goodies. And before Torgal turns into Fenrir the summon. Because Fenrir is a summon in the in the series. Isabel said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? I want. Oh. She said you could call her Isabel. Never mind. If ever there was a reason to up sticks, an ether flood would be it. Fuck me. Those guards at the gate. They weren't there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Yeah, uh, yes, kid? It's gonna get screwed over. Watch. was all that about not quite as spry as I used to be I'll take that as a thank you look on the bright side at least you won't get lost I think you spoke about forest just as I came here B yeah? Yeah, what about it? Ah, more miners. Warcry. Some opponents will use the ability Warcry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Right. This might take a while. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, their war cry really helped them.
I want to go back here and grab an item. I doubt this is the way we're supposed to go. Is it? Oh shit, it is. No, I don't want to go that way then. I'll go back that way later. Because I... Oh, that's good. I almost missed a treasure chest. And another item. God, I feel like I'm getting lost already and it's not that... It's not that much of a labyrinth. Go. Oh, well, show me where I'm supposed to go. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we can deal with this. We just this. Alright, now where? Ah, I had to pull the lever. Okay. They're fun. Oh, but they don't have the thing. Oh, yes, they do. Damn it. That's enough. Oh! You went straight for me, didn't you? Are you the only one? I think you are. Okay. What, what about his family? Uh. So. The thing is. It, it happens right at the start of the game, so I'm not really sure if it's a spoiler if it happens right at the start, but it kind of... No, what happens to them is kind of a spoiler, so I, I, I won't say. So, with that, if if we're going based off um, levels of how close we are to the end of the game, we are caught away through. I don't think this is the case, and it never usually is, but that'd be funny if that is. So, I'm, su I'm surprised that... There are actually people down here mining them, so I wonder why they don't just they don't just get bearers to come down here. Because they don't want, they won't get affected by this. So why are normal people coming down here? You know, we're already being treated like slaves. Corel's sword? That's another iconic... I, I, 
quote unquote iconic uh, sword of the game. It's just the water sword. Let's go to look. Pretty meh. Oh, it's a bit, it's got a bit of a curve to it right at the end. Interesting. I've got bad lighting at the moment, but that, that's not bad. I'm never selling these items because the weapons look too cool to get rid of and not look at again. On the count of three. What are we doing? What happened to two? Ask one. <laughs> more. Aye, seems you're trying now. As if that was going to keep us out. It do look cool though. I'm not going to lie. If we didn't see the first two ones and they did it on the first, it would have been cool. Like really cool. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. 